Anyways, today we're gonna watch and listen keenly to what Auntie Donna has to say. Everybody knows who Auntie Donna is. She's an amazing person. She's doing a lot of wonderful stuff in Jamaica. She's helping out a lot of people, building a lot of houses. Um, my opinion of Auntie Donna, oh God, where do I start? I admire her. I think she she's an awesome human being. Every single day, I'm gonna make something great. That's my way. Every single day, I'm gonna make something great. That's I think she's a definition to greatness. To what society needs. Anyways, let's watch and see. Auntie Donna here. Um, I just want to discuss a, a little thing, a little topic that has been taunting me, and um, I'm just gonna get it off my chest. So, in life, guys, um, we can I just add how amazing she looks? She looks so young in this video, fresh. I love her dress, love the colors. She's just a breath of fresh air. Women, and I'm gonna include myself in this topic. As I said, women, we are our biggest threat and enemy towards each other. Now, if you check it. You know what? I think she is so right. And I cannot agree with her are our biggest threat we are also our biggest enemies believe it or not it about it the most person that hates you is a woman the most person that envies you is a woman the most person that chats you is a woman the most person that wants to see you downfall is a woman and the most person that tell lies on you is a woman so that is so true because I'm gonna speak from example um, on my Instagram page channel and fan page and even here on YouTube most of the hate messages that are that I get on a daily basis they're from women right most of the people that try to tear me down they're from women I've never had a man comment on any one of my videos and have anything negative to say. The ratio, all the hate, all the envy comes from a woman. For me personally, um, when I my inbox, check my messages and see the amount of hate mail that I get from women, and I'm gonna speak on women. I have not seen, if I see a hundred message from women, I have not seen five from men. And I was thinking this morning, and I'm here, and I'm saying, why is women eat each other so much? That is a good question. Why? Why do we hate each other so much? Why do we bring each other down so much? Is it jealousy? Is it envious? What is it? Because I'm sure whatever it is one woman is doing, Another woman can work towards it or can even do better. So why do we hate and bring each other down so much? Much that if you do if somebody do you something you can say, all right, I have a reason to hate her or I have a reason to not like her. Me personally, I don't hate anybody but I have people that I don't like or I don't talk to. And that does not mean that I will wish them bad or that does not mean I will want to see them dead. Or do, that does not mean And it's the same thing with me. Like I have people that I wouldn't say that I hate them because hate is a very strong word. Um I might dislike their behavior. I dislike some of the things that they're all about. But that doesn't mean I hate you. Um, if I dislike you, I, I don't associate myself with you. I, I have no reason to speak to you. I have um, I have no ill will against this whoever it is. And I mean, yeah, I just don't bother. Like that person just doesn't exist to me. But some people take it to another level. In that I would not want to see them succeed, but I just 
don't I just have a I not like I, not, I like him not for them and reason being is because they have done me something. Now personally I have not done a lot of people anything or a lot of people might not have an agenda. For me, let me tell you something about me. If somebody has wronged me, I mean I'm not gonna go out of my way to get revenge on them. I believe in karma and karma is a mother. And let me tell you, when karma is coming, it is coming and it comes around twice as hard. So for me, when people wrong me, I leave them to time because I know karma will get them. The only thing that I would do if somebody fucks with my kids, I'm not going to wait for karma. I'm going to come at you. That's the one thing I make a promise and a vow that I will destroy you if you mess with my babies. And there's no if, ands, or buts about it. And it's not a threat either. It's a promise. You mess with my babies, I'm going to come get you. Like me. But from I'm into this spotlight, my God, guys, I've gotten so much hit me so much envy so i'm glad she hit on that that topic too you know because if you notice she says from she's been in the spotlight let me tell you something social media can change a person it can bring out the worst in people and it can bring out the best in people and let me tell you something you see the social media thing it could be deadly I've seen and I've heard where people have lost their lives through social media. People have been bullied through social media. I mean, people just take this whole social media thing too serious. It's not that serious, people. Really, it's not that serious. So much cold down. So much. I don't even know how to put some other words from a woman. For instance, right? Um, baking now. And it's only women tearing me down. When I'm doing charity, them tearing me down. To me, that's just bad mind. Because you know you can't bake, or you can't cook, or you can't sew. And you see somebody else doing it. And you know they're doing a good job. But because you're a bad mind, you're going to say, oh, it don't look good. Or, oh, this and oh, that. Per per perfect example. A few months, uh, was it? A few weeks ago. Probably about two months. What are we in you now? September? Two months ago, I went out, right? And I had on this dress. And this one particular person was on... This woman watches out everything I do on social media and always have something to say, which I really don't care because you know what? The people that hate you and talk about you the most, they're your biggest fans. They are your biggest cheerleader because everything I put up, they're there watching you know what I mean and I have on this dress and it's it's a it's a balloon dress everybody's wearing them now it's the in thing and this woman is gonna go on oh look on the frock look on this look on that girl you know the dress looks good but because you're stuck in your baka wall old-fashioned granny days you don't know the style so because you don't have it and you're not wearing it, that doesn't mean it doesn't look good. I mean, I see a lot of women out there in pencil dresses or pencil skirts. Would I wear pencil dresses or pencil skirts? No, because it doesn't flatter me. But if it looks good on that person, wear it. You know what I mean? Not everything looks good on everybody. But if you notice something look good, don't be bad man and say it don't look good. If I put on clothes, them tearing me down. Remember, I don't stop anybody or anyone from doing anything. I am not envious. I am not jealous. And I don't bad mind people. And this is the reason why I am so blessed. If 10 person doing so. She is blessed indeed. And she, with the work that she's doing, you know, I appreciate her so much for doing so much for my country. Because there's people in Jamaica that they're struggling they're they can't manage without the help of somebody else 
and their neighbors will have it in abundance and will they share or would they try to help no and this woman gets up every day and put on her clothes and step out there go above and beyond just to help somebody else and I appreciate everything that she's doing for Jamaica I have donated to her show quite a few times um, would I do it again yes do I have a problem doing it? No. Is she benefiting from it? I don't know and I don't care. But I know that other people, and I've seen where other people are benefiting from it. And people who are in need are benefiting from it. And that's all that matters to me. Something that I am doing, I don't have a problem to share the 10 person. If a million people do it, I do not have a problem because I know that what I can do, you probably can do it better. And what you can do, I probably can do it better. And the same goes. And even if I can't do it better or you can't do it better, my fan base or my customer them don't have anything to do with your customer if you check the ratio and that is so true i've also seen on her instagram page where we all know that she does her bacon she has her nyambad pudding on her triple blend and all that but i've also seen where she has advertised for other people who are bacon also how many of us can say we'll do that we won't a lot of us won't I mean, you have hairstylists out there who they specialize in natural hair and they have another hairstylist down the street who does perms and weaves and stuff like that. And if somebody walk into their shop and say, hey, can I get a, a lace front? Even though they know they can't do the lace front, they'll try to do it just to mess it up. And they know within themselves that 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 is not what they specialize in. And they know somebody that specializes in that. And they will not send that customer over to the next shop. They will rather try to do it themselves and mess it up than refer this person to another person. You have Nike, Adidas, Puma, all different brands. And they're all the same clothing line, different brands. Everybody sell. No. One of the things that I, 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 I was talking about this morning and... Yeah, and I look at it and I said, why people eat me? Some of these people, I have never, ever met them. I have never, ever. Um... What I find in life, people will hate you for no apparent reason. And I find these people that hate on you for no apparent reason, they're the ones with the problem, honey. Don't think it's you. You don't have a problem. It's them that has the problem. Being acquainted with them, going to their space, people just, when I see even some comments, people just tell blatant lie on me. And I just want to put it out there that the lie, the envy, the greed, the naysay is not going to get on. You know the amount of lies they've told on me on this social, social media? Every day they lie on me. Every day they call my name in some sort of mix up or some sort of something. But you see me, because I know what they're saying is a bunch of lies, I don't make it bother me. I don't waste my energy. The only thing me have to say, whatever you hear people in my chat say, if you want to believe, go right ahead, believe it. Don't call me and ask me nothing. Don't text me and ask me nothing. Because before you take the time to ask me how the situation is, I'm sure you have. some sort of judgment in your head already whether or not the situation or the circumstances is true or not you already have some sort of judgment against me without even knowing the truth so why do I bother? I don't I don't chat I don't add content I don't care as long as I not take food out of my pit in their mouth, I don't give a flying you know what. You have Nike, Adidas, Puma, all different brands, and they're all the same clothing line, different brands, everybody sell. Now, 
one of the things that I, 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 I was talking about this morning and you know, and I look at it and I said, why people hate me? Some of these people, I have never, ever met them. I have never, ever um, been acquainted with them. But it's so true because people have preconceived judgments against you and they don't even know you. They've only seen you on social media. They don't know you in person. They don't know nothing about your personal life. But they already have their preconceived judgments. In their space, people just when I see even some comments, people just tell blatant lie on me, and I just want to put it out there that the lie, the envy, the greed, the naysay is not gonna get Auntie Dana done. What Auntie Dana main focus is God. Whatever God thinks of me, I never once came on social media and claimed to be perfect. And I'm gonna speak to the whole diaspora. Um, I am not the only person who is going to hatred from another woman, envy from another woman, bad mind from another woman, woman wanting to see woman stay down and not rise up. And the, 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 the Again, as I said, there's so many of us out there that's going through it problem until we as women start to look out for ourselves and start to wish others good then the problem won't start the moment you're gonna sit and while a lot of women hate you, you know it's because they see something in you that they don't have they might say okay auntie dana can dress or okay auntie dana um put in a cell or they see that you're doing something that might be they try and 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 they fail or they see you with something that they want and they can't have it guys the world i'm not gonna lie I kind of want to try the name bad pudding because the reviews them, them mad, them sick. I want to try it. Yeah, I want to try it. I don't ask Christ. I want to try it. The world is out here big for all of us. Anything I can do, you can do it. You have to put God in it. Put God as the center stone, God as the middle stone, and God as the bottom stone. And you will succeed just like me. Sometimes you're, you guys is blocking your own blessing with the corruption. Talk truth. No, talk truth. I know how we block with own blessings at times, eh? Me including too, because I'm sure that I've blocked some of my blessings in the past or even in the future to come. I know how we block with own blessings. I don't know it. We block with blessings by bad minding people. We block with blessings by chatting ill and negative about other people. We block with blessings, so she talk truth. No truth in your heart towards me or towards somebody else you don't have to eat me you know and you don't have to eat your sister and you don't have to eat your friends what i notice with a lot of jamaican women and i'm gonna um elaborate on jamaican women because they are the ones that i am around and the ones that i see they do not want to see any woman at all whether it's their mother their sister their brother even their the thing is Menaga said it's only Jamaican women. I'm going to say all women. But especially black women. We need to stop it because it don't look good. It don't look good. I should. It don't look good. We need to stop. We really need to stop. Black woman, like, there's just something about, and you know the funniest thing, and that's why enough how we can't reach no way in our life, you know. That's why enough of we can't reach no way in our life. For example, you'll find one house full of Chinese people or Indian people. And this is, I'm not being racist or anything. I'm just speaking facts. You'll find one house full of Chinese people or Indian people. And the whole of them live together and sleep on the ground. And save up their money and help one by one house. And when that the one by him house, the whole of them move now that the one there. And them save again until the next one by a house. Until the next one buy a house. And I saw them go until everybody own a house. You think we're going to do that as black people? We're not going to do it. Because as soon as we buy the first house. And the second house buy. You're going to hear this one and we get the first house. So how come fair house nicer than mine? How come she have two bathrooms and me only have one? Or how come fair bedroom upstairs and my one downstairs? We can never be satisfied. We too long here. And that's our problem. Rise above them. They want to see you down in the slum. And I'm not saying every woman is like that. You know, I'm saying there is a fraction 
of women who are like that. Um, at times you guys get to me, of course, and I would want to come on social media and lash out. And there's a time when I said, Donna, be bigger than that, be better than that, do not answer. I same thing me say, Auntie Donna, I'm not telling no lie, I'm not asking Christ. Same thing me say. Because enough time me sit down and people send me video where people are chat me on Instagram, where people are try class me and I bring me down.